Hi everyone, it's Liz here and the next WordPress tip. Now today we're going to be talking about mobile and how to take your site mobile in the easiest possible way. There are lots and lots of options to choose from out there and here's a few of them. There's WP Mobile Pro which has been made by Wilson Mathos and there's also Mobile Optimizer but for my example, I'm just going to stick to the most well-known plugin, which is WP Touch. I'll be showing you the difference between WP Touch Pro and WP Touch Free, and also another free option, which is OnBile. Now that's a really strange word, but there you go, that's what they've called it, OnBile. So, there should be something in there to suit you, so I'll just take you through the steps that I've been through to build my mobile sites. I've come unstuck a couple of times while I've been doing this, so I think I'll just point out those things to you as we go, so that when you get round to doing it, hopefully you really can do it in 20 minutes. Right, we're going to start with the demonstration for OnBile, and to do that I needed to find a site that I had that I could apply this mobile site to, and I'm going to use a site that I started and never did anything with, so that I can leave this on here for you to have a look at if you want to afterwards. The first thing I want to just say about OnBile is that the mobile site they create will not be on your domain, it will be on their domain and I think that's partly why they're doing it for free because it means that for every mobile site that's created they'll have their links all over the planet which is fine for them and if this is a good enough solution for you it's fine for you too because it will cost you nothing and take you about 10 minutes. OK, so just to show you that, I'm going to now set up the mobile site for this site here, which is a film review site that I started and never really did anything with. So you can see it's a normal uh, WordPress site, and um, it's got some film reviews on it, and it's got a logo, and that's about it really. If we were to view this now on a mobile device at greatfilmreviews.com on an iPhone or something like that, we just see this particular site just a lot smaller. And one of the reasons that you want to make a mobile site is that people would find the links on here very, very hard to click because they'd just be so tiny on an iPhone. OK, so without further ado, let's have a go at making this into a mobile site very quickly with OnBile. You go to OnBile.com and you sign up and you can click onto the welcome message and you're presented with a fairly blank mobile phone here. All you do then is click over to the design tab and pick one of the designs. Now I'm going to assume that the great film review site is a bit like a restaurant or a local business that just wants to show an about us services, you know, the normal contact us, that kind of thing. No, no sort of stream of blog posts or anything like that, just a very basic mobile site. So we would choose a theme that fits that description. I quite like the look of this one, so I'm going to pick that one. Now the colours are sort of these, this blue colour and we could change them here if we wanted to, but I'm not going to, I'm just going to leave them blue. You can then change the sets of icons, they give you three choices, I'm going to change the last one. And then having done that, you click the next step. You then have to fill in the home, about us, services and contact information. So I've made up a load of stuff here about what my services are all about. And there they are. That's my sort of headline title about what I do. And I've created a logo as well. Now here's my Photoshop and this is the logo from my main site. So I've created a smaller version of this, which is 250 pixels by 100 pixels, to go on my mobile site. And I'm going to upload that now. There it is. And then fill in my phone number, so, and an email account, and a Google Maps location. To get hold of the Google Maps location, I just go to Google Maps, type in my address, 
and locate where I am, which is there. And then when you click on the link here, you've got the short URL and the HTML. It's the short URL that you need. The HTML won't work on this unbile mobile site. So control A and click that long link and then go back to the on bile page and paste it in there and then go to the next step which is actually to supply services information which you just paste in here and here I've only put a little bit there about us again and uh, a little bit of information there and contact just an introduction to the contact because actually the contact stuff was all done here in the three bits of information here in the phone, the email and the Google Maps location. So when you've done all of that you can then click on the next step button. At that point you click on update and when it says successful go back to the admin panel and click on this code here to copy it all and then right click and copy that and this is the code that has to go in the head section of your page. Now if you've got a great theme like Genesis that's a breeze you just click over onto the WordPress dashboard. I'm very sorry about my dog snoring by the way in case you're hearing a strange noise and what we do next is we just go into theme settings for Genesis and if you don't have Genesis or you don't have a theme that allows you to do this easily then you've got to edit your header.php and paste it in there just before the closing head tags. But here in Genesis you just paste it in this box here and then you click on save settings and what you end up with on your iPhone if you go and look at it and I will leave this as it is here on this site so if you want to have a look at it on an iPhone you can go to www.greatfilmreviews.com and you will see a mobile site that looks like this and when you click on home you go there about us like that and services and finally contact now on this little simulator on here it doesn't actually work but on the mobile phone if you click that it will try to call me if you click that it will try to email me and if you click that then it's our location and it takes you off to a google map but I can't show you that on here and that's how you do a very simple mobile site with OnBile. What I'd like to do now is take that same site that we've just built on OnBile and slightly make it more involved because it might be that your site has got blog posts on it that you want people to be able to read. So we need to be able to feed our blog posts into the site, not just have these sort of very basic about us and services and contacts and things like that so the way that works with OnBile is you just have to pick a different look and feel because each of them has different characteristics so if we go back to the design tab now on my great film review site I do have some blog posts so we can do this if you look at each of these designs you'll see some of them do have a stream of posts coming in whereas some just have this home and about and contact look I'll just pick one I think just this ordinary one here. In fact it's the RSS blog template that I'm picking. As you can see this one concentrates really on the content. Having chosen that then I can change some colours here but I'm not going to again and just go to the next step. And here we have to put our RSS feed in. Now remember to put HTTP or it won't work and then put great film reviews or whatever your RSS feed is slash feed and uh, I'll just put something in here we've already done the logo it remembered it from last time and this time it gives us a chance to fill in some social media accounts so you can put in a Twitter a stumble a Flickr a Facebook here I'll just put my Twitter address in here I won't bother doing all of these and then the label follow us so I could change that to uppercase or something and an exclamation mark and that's as much as it allows me to do and then I do next step and then update 
and return to the admin panel and as you can see here it's actually got my film reviews in here so these are actually my blog posts and there's a bunch of social media buttons at the top that people can click on so if you wanted to have some contact information you you'd probably have to make sure that people could get through to you on some of these as opposed to actually on this site here because this is really concentrating on just the stream of information so blog posts can actually be read so I'll click on the first one and it's got a picture and it's got text and links but it hasn't got the it hasn't got the YouTube video in it that I've got in that post so it's free on bile but it's slightly limited but if this is good enough for you then it's going to be extremely low cost as in free and it's going to take you just a few minutes